Today we're going to be looking at wrist mobility. And what's important to remember is the length of the muscles on your wrist. What I mean by that is the muscles that go down the back of your wrist are going to start all the way up here, transverse all the way down the back of your wrist, across the wrist joint, and it's going to insert all the way into your fingers. So when we stretch these, we need to make sure we keep all of those joints in mind, fingers, wrist, and elbow. So the first position we start in is for the top of the arm. We're going to make a fist, maintain that finger flexion, bend the wrist down. You can even bring the other hand up, put some slight pressure, feel that stretch across the back of the forearm, and you're going to hold here. We're going to do about a total of 30 seconds. Still plenty of time on the clock. We do have to get on both sides, so we want to make sure to have a little bit of a sense of urgency. And we're going to take about another 10 seconds, hopefully feeling a gentle stretch across the back of the forearm. You don't want to feel like you're trying to rip any muscles off. Next, we're going to come out here. This time we're going to extend the fingers, pull the wrist back. Again, elbow stays straight. This time we're working the underside of the forearm. We can add a little bit of pressure with our other arm. And we're going to pull back and maintain this for about a total of 30 seconds. Make sure you're still breathing throughout this. And we've got about 10 seconds left. And that nice gentle stretch through the bottom part of the forearm now. And then finally, we're going to relax. We're going to turn our arm. I want you to tuck your thumb in your hand. Wrap your thumb with your fingers. And now we're going to rotate down toward the ground again. You can give a little bit of extra pressure if you want to, and you're going to feel that stretch right across the front of the forearm, here, over top of the thumb, and we're going to maintain that position for a total of 30 seconds. We've only got about 10 seconds left now. Again, try and find that gentle stretch and maintain it throughout, instead of struggling back and forth and feeling like you're really trying to rip some muscles off your arm. And then you can go ahead and relax. We're going to take it to the other side. So we're going to bring our elbows straight again. We're going to make a fist. We're going to drop our hand down. I'm going to bring my other hand up, put some stress right across the front of the hand. And now we're going to feel that same stretch as before over the top of the forearm here. And again, we're going to maintain this one for 30 seconds. Again, gentle stretch. Don't want to do any damage to any muscles. We also don't want to irritate anything, especially if you're golfing later today. One last deep breath. And relax. Now we're going to bring our fingers out straight. Bring our wrist back. Use our other arm. Pull this way. And feel that stretch across the underside of the forearm. We're going to maintain for another 30 seconds. We still have some time on the clock. Plenty of time to get to our last stretch to make sure we have a well-rounded wrist stretching program. About another 10 seconds. And we will relax. We're going to rotate our hand. Again, we're going to drop our thumb down. We're going to cover it with our other fingers and then aim the wrist and hand toward the ground. Again, we can add a little bit of pressure if you'd like. Stretch coming right across the top of the arm here where the thumb is, if it were to just continue up your arm. And we're maintaining that stretch for a total of 30 seconds. We've got about 10 more, or two, maybe three big deep breaths. And relax. Then these stretches are great to prevent things like tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. So if you ever struggle with those, this might be a video to repeat but I'll catch you tomorrow on our next 30-day golf mobility challenge.